you are welcome to get Wisdom Media TV. Please do subscribe, like and share this video. God bless you. What happened the first time you met Brother Emmanuel? Yeah, it was really strange. He was so sure he has seen me before, though he couldn't remember where and when. I was sure that was the first time I saw him. He kept asking, are you sure we've not met before? At a point, James got jealous, so I thought, and asked him to leave me alone. I am sure everything will become clear with time. I hope so. Let me go home now and we'll call Emmanuel tomorrow. Thanks so much. We thank God. Go well my sister. Hi Nina, happy to hear from you. How have you been? Hi Emmanuel, I am okay by the grace of God. Thanks. Trust you are doing well. Sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute to talk? God is keeping me by his special grace. I am at work but it's fine Nina, you are not bothering me. We can talk because it's actually my lunch time, so it's fine. Thanks. My spiritual counselor and sister in Christ helping me to get back on my feet, would like to get some information from you as led by the Holy Spirit. Would you be available to talk to her? Especially that it concerns your best friend. If the Holy Spirit is leading her in my direction, why not? I will tell her all she needs to know, as long as it is for a good cause. Thanks so much. I will send you her contact details so that you can schedule a meeting with her. I will be available any time both of you agree on. I am very grateful. You are welcome Nina, anytime. God bless you. Amen. God bless you more. Bye for now. Bye Nina. Why is this appointment with this sister Amarachi so important to me? Why do I feel this strange? Emmanuel, it's about Nina, not you. I don't even know her and yet I could hardly sleep last night and couldn't wait for the day to break. My heart is beating so fast and I feel very strange. Could this be lust? I bind you spirit of lust and mind control, and cast you out of my thoughts and heart, in the name of Jesus. But wait, how is it possible to be lusting over someone I don't even know and haven't seen before? Stop binding and casting. You will soon understand why you feel the way you do. Meanwhile, you have to change what you are wearing. Okay Lord. I will be patient and wait. Let me go and change what I am wearing as you instructed. Though I don't understand, you do, and I trust your judgment. Thanks so much Brother Emmanuel for coming at a very short notice. The pleasure is mine sister Amarachi. Thanks and God bless you for all you are doing for Nina. We return all the glory to God. Please do have your seat. What do I offer you? I'm okay, thanks. I know you are very busy and won't take much of your time. I will go straight to the reason why I wanted to see you. Nina will be here shortly. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that you have vital information about James that Nina doesn't know. Brother Emmanuel, she needs to know all because she is blaming herself from distracting James away from the Lord. Self-guilt and condemnation is very serious. She needs spiritual and mental healing to forgive herself and move on with her life. God has forgiven her but she needs to forgive herself. But first of all, she needs to understand the game the devil is using him to play with her mind. What? How could he? She didn't distract him from anything. He was never serious about God from the onset. Though for a short while, he almost surrendered to Jesus, but it was never a firm decision. What do you mean? Please explain. James and I are childhood friends and he comes from an unstable family who hates everything about God. His parents are idol worshippers and only swear by their gurus. His father has no respect for women and treat them like slaves. His mother hates men and God and introduced James to witch doctors at a tender age. He has always been very lazy and a good talker and knows how to get women to his buildings. He moves in with them them as long as they have something to offer and pay all the bills, after which he dumps them. Nina is not the first, but he stayed with her this long, because she was a church girl, had a good job and commanded authority. I knew he was going to dump her the moment she loses all. He went to that church because he was tired of street and loose girls, 
according to him and wanted a fresh and holy touch. What? Yes, you heard me right. He has no respect for the things of heaven. When Nina and Brother Fred started coming to follow him up, he already started lusting after her. But after few weeks that she didn't show any interest to him, he started considering taking his salvation seriously for the first time since I know him. Because, that was the first time he really felt unnoticed by a young and unmarried lady, think was more because of his ego than knowing God. This made me very happy, because the Lord has revealed to me severally, that he has a great plan for James, and I will play a key role to that. But then, I don't know what happened, she allowed the devil to manipulate her into his arms. <laughs> think we should wait for her because this is very crucial for her. Nina is supposed to be here by now. I wonder what is keeping her. Hello Ma, are you looking for someone? Good day sir, yes. I have an appointment with Sister Ramarachi. Ah, okay that's my elder sister. Oh, you must be the famous Emika. Uh huh, tell me about the famous part. Forget my manners, I didn't even ask your name. No need to apologize because I am supposed to introduce myself as well. I'm Sister Nina. You are welcome Sister Nina. I am Brother Emika, but without the famous. You and my sister will explain the famous later. You are very funny. Let me release you to my sister. Happy to have met you. God bless you Sister Nina. Thanks Brother Emika. God bless you more. Hello Sister Nina. Brother Emmanuel and I have been expecting you. I am sorry for keeping you waiting. I met your brother outside and talked with him shortly. Oh, Emika is back? Please come and take your seat. It's okay. If only I waited a little while as the pastor instructed. I was too quick to get myself settled without minding the will of God. James was right. I frustrated his chance of salvation. Don't be too hard on yourself. James is my best friend but he never meant well from the onset. Remember I confronted him in front of you, and advised you to break up with him before he drains you. Right before you, he said I was wasting my time, because you can't do without him. There is only one person that he truly cares about and spends all he gets from other women on. That is Lizzie. He always goes back to her. But he also cheats on her non-stop. She only accepts him back because of what she gets from him. I'm sorry Nina but he never loved you. James is a player and doesn't care about you nor fear God. Stop torturing yourself because of him. He doesn't deserve you. I am sure that God has a better plan for you. Please Nina, ask the Holy Spirit to help you to forgive yourself. God will settle you and you will be just fine by his grace. Amen and Amen. Thank you Emmanuel. You have always been very kind to me, and confronted James severally because of me. I am very grateful. May God bless and reward you for your kindness. All glory to God. I will take my leave now. Was really nice to see you again. I am happy that you have people like Sister Amarchi that genuinely care about you. Everything you lost in that relationship, God will restore it multiple fold, in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. It is written in Joel 2 verse 25. And they will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. I pray that God will settle you and grant you his peace that surpasses all understanding, in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Thank you once more for coming and being open to me. We give God all the glory. Don't worry. It will end in praises. Bye Nina. Thanks. Bye. Brother Emmanuel, thank you so much for your godly kindness. I know this wasn't an easy decision for you, so I am very grateful. We bless God Sister Amarchi. I am amazed by your generosity and dedication in helping others. May the good Lord bless your ministry and increase his anointing upon your life, in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Thanks. We return all the glory to God. By Sister Amarchi. By Brother Emmanuel.
<laughs> Sister Ramarachi, can you imagine my foolishness? I was a toy, in an unbelieving man's hand. How did I fall this deep? Was I bewitched? It doesn't matter how many times you fall, what matters is that you get up and keep going. It is written in Proverbs 24 verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times, and reseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. The Holy Spirit will restore your joy and perfect all that concerns you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will help you to heal of every past disappointment and consequences of disobedience to his instructions, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am happy that you know the truth now, because it is written in John 8 verse 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But most importantly, that you know the true nature of the one you thought loved you. It will take time to heal, but your healing process started with this revelation. The good news is, he can't deceive you again. I know but I feel so stupid to have believed all his lies and fallen so deeply to his game. The red flags were very obvious. I always thought I was very smart, but look at me now. To imagine that I was about to let him again into my life. Thank God for your intercession that God used to deliver me. I have learned a big lesson, and a hard way. To never disobey God's instructions by trying to help myself. You are right. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 tells us. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. God has our interests at heart, and he knows the end before the beginning. If we allow him to direct us always, we will never get it wrong. You are right. Thanks so much my sister. I am very grateful to you for allowing God to use you to deliver me from my foolishness. It's all right my sister. We give God all the glory. Stop being too harsh on yourself. Sister Amarji, a beautiful soul, and luckily, she is still single. Emmanuel, what is wrong with you? What is your business if she is single or not? But seriously, what a wonderful lady. But strange, just like the first time I saw Nina, I have the impression that I have seen her before, but just can't figure out where. Yes, you have seen them before. She is the one I told you about. She is my perfect will for you. Thank you Holy Spirit, yes. She is the one. Now I remember the dream I had just before I met Nina for the first time. I thank God for giving me a virtuous woman like you. Still can't believe that you will soon become my wife, my best friend, my priceless jewel, my soulmate. Glory to God. Wow. I can't wait to become your wife. I am highly favored to have you as my husband. A gentle, kind and God-fearing man. All those beautiful attributes for me alone? You will make me blush. And, he even blushes. So sweet. Oh, look at her looking so beautifully happy. Great that we decided for a double wedding. You are right my darling soon-to-be wife. Her man is almost here. Thank you Lord for this awesome gift. But how can I approach her? I have never asked a girl up before, talkless of proposing marriage. Just trust in me and I will lead you to talk to her at the right time. I have also prepared her for that moment. Thank you Holy Spirit. All glory to your holy name. Lizzie, why are you not picking my calls? What is going on? I was very busy and I told you that. Why are you still on it? Please just stop it. I told you I am not in the mood. I had a very bad day. That's what you have been saying for weeks now. What is going on? I don't have time for your usual arguments. By the way, where is the money you promised me? I told you to be patient. I will get it. I am working on something. I don't believe you anymore. I need it urgently, or else, this relationship is over. You can't say that. Have I ever failed you? Give me a little time. I will get you the money, and more than you demanded. Trust me. Trust who again? You? 
<laughs> me, Lizzie, trust you? Never. You are not nice to me at all. What is going on? You're hurting my feelings. Coming from you, it's really funny. Do you have feelings that could be hurt? Please, I have to go. See you when you have the money. I have better things to do. But I thought you wanted to spend time with me. Yes, I will, when you get me the money. Bye, James. I have to contact Nina again. She might not have much money now, but she has some properties I could sell to raise money for Lizzie before I lose her. Yes, that's what I will do. It will work. I can't afford to lose Lizzie. She is my life. Though Nina is not picking my calls now, I will figure out a perfect plan to get her eating from my palms again. Thanks for watching. Watch out for the final part. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. God bless you. Get Wisdomedia TV, using the word of God to help you be the best of you.